What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing another 40 minute Pilates workout. If you have a light set of weights, go ahead and grab those weights. We're going to use them a little bit today. If you don't have weights, no problem. Maybe grab like, I don't know, cans of soup, cans of beans, wine bottles, whatever. And before we get into it, here is your reminder to enter into our giveaway. If you go into the did, if you go into the description box down below, you'll just fill out that Google form that'll enter you into the giveaway and we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Okay. So for our warm up today, we're going to actually start in a tabletop position. So we're going to start with some cat cow warm up. So hands come down to the mat, knees are back, hips over the knees, shoulders over the wrist. On your inhale, you're going to curve down through your spine, look up towards the ceiling for cow, and then big exhale, press down through the palms of the hands, curl the belly button up and in like you're a Halloween cat, curve the spine. And we're going to do a couple more like this. We'll do one more here, and then we're gonna start to stretch out the wrist. Okay, find that neutral spine one more time, shoulders over the wrist. I want you to bring your right fingertips back. So turn those right fingertips back towards you, and then start to press your weight into the knuckles. So kind of press your weight back a little bit. It's gonna feel like a really deep stretch in the wrist. But very often, a lot of people complain about wrist pain, so I want you to find some good wrist stretches. I like this one a lot. We'll switch it over, right hand comes down, turn the left fingertips back, and then push that weight into the fingertips. So you can bring your hips a little bit back of those knees. Press some weight in there. Now I want you to, uh, on your right hand, you're gonna flip the palm down, so you're flexing through the wrist but kind of pressing it down. It's gonna be a little bit of pressure. We'll flip that right hand back over, do the same thing with the left. So just kind of press it down. Oh, what did I do? No, that's what I did, okay. So the top of the hand is pressed down to the mat. Just press down a little bit. And now from here, we're gonna do a little child's pose rocker. So on your inhale, you're gonna press the hips back to the heels, big exhale, pull it back up in a tabletop. Inhale, press it back, exhale, bring it back up. So just starting to warm up that low body a little bit, warming up through your core. So you should be really active through that core. Pull that belly button up and in. As you press those hips back, you can take tension out of those wrists take the weight away from those hands. And then as you pull back up, even weight through the fingertips, through the palms of the hands, through the knuckles. 15 more seconds left here. And then we're gonna do a little bit of work through the spine, a little bit of uh, rotation. So we'll bring it back into that tabletop in three, two, and one, reset in that tabletop. Left hand's gonna stay down. You're gonna bring the right hand behind the head, bend at the elbow. So we're pointed down to that mat. You're gonna inhale, lift up a little bit. So turn towards your right, and then exhale. We're gonna rotate that elbow back down. So you rotate a little bit to look to the left. So inhale, we open up. Exhale, we pull it back down. So really tiny movement here, and you want to make sure you have even weight through both of those knees and through the left hand. So I can feel myself dumping into the left side a little bit. If you can feel yourself dumping into that left side, just lighten up the weight in that left hand. Fifteen more seconds left here, and we'll just move over to the other side. So right hand will come down. We'll do this same exercise on the left side in five. Four, three, two, and one. Okay. Reset, shake out that left wrist. Right hand's gonna come down, we'll reset that tabletop. Left hand comes behind the head. Inhale, we rotate towards the left. Exhale, we rotate that elbow. So you're trying to bring your elbow over towards your other elbow. So inhale, open up through the chest. So 
it's starting to warm up that core a little bit, get a little bit of rotation in. Starting to warm up through the obliques. 15 seconds left here. And then we're gonna do a knee to elbow crunch. So we'll reset everything. We'll start with that left arm out, right leg back in five, four, three, two, and one. We'll reset that tabletop, roll out that right wrist if you need to, and then we'll just reset. So set everything back up, left arm goes forward, right leg goes back, we're just gonna do knee to elbow. So if you need to reset that tabletop at any time, I feel myself kind of in a weird, in a funky tabletop. If you start to feel like your shoulder is shifting back away from your wrist, reset. If you feel like your hip is pressing back past your knee, again, pull the tabletop in and reset. You should feel a really deep pull through your core as you're pulling your knee in towards your elbow. And then inhale, lengthen it out. It should feel like a really nice stretch. 15 seconds here. So if you need to take a second to reset, maybe make a fist with your hand and pop up onto that fist to take some tension out of the wrist. That's fine. We'll bring everything down. Reset in two and one. So bring it down. Shake out that right wrist. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So left hand comes down. Right, right arm goes forward. Left leg goes back. Big exhale, pull me in towards the elbow. Inhale, let it go. So things might feel a little bit different on this side. That's okay, we talk about this all the time. Things are gonna be different from side to side. We're lopsided as humans, totally okay. So maybe you feel like your core needs to work a little bit harder to help you stabilize here. I feel that. 15 seconds left here. We're gonna bring it down and we're gonna do a little lateral movement. Opening out to the side. So we'll reset the tabletop in three, two, and one. Okay, bring it down. Take a second to roll out the wrists. And we're gonna get right back into it. So right hand's gonna stay down, left arm goes out. Right leg goes back. What we're gonna do from here is open out to the side. So left arm goes to the left, right leg goes to the right, and then we pull it back in towards center. So little movement here. Exhale, squeeze everything back in towards the center. Really tiny movement here all together. I keep hitting the Christmas tree. That's okay. 15 seconds here. We're gonna pull it down. We'll do the same thing over on the other side. This is when I always feel like really hard in my core. So if you're having a tough time stabilizing, it's okay. Five, four, three, two, and one. We'll bring it down to switch over to the other side. Ooh, my wrist is kind of bugging me. That's okay. Totally fine. Okay. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So left hand stays down, right arm goes out, left leg goes back, right arm goes to the right, left leg goes to the left, then pull it back in. So inhale, little open, exhale, pull it in. Tiny, tiny movement. 15 seconds here, we'll bring it down. We have one final movement in this tabletop like this. So you're almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. One more exercise we're gonna do on both sides. It's gonna be kind of similar to that lateral movement we just did. This time, we're gonna bring your right hand down, left knee back, right leg's gonna go back, Left arm's gonna go forward. This time you're gonna bend through the left elbow as you bend through the right knee. So trying to bring that right knee up and around, elbow comes down into a goal post. So we lengthen out, bend the knee and the elbow, stretch it out. 
So a little bit of coordination here. You're gonna feel yourself wanting to rock around a little bit. Fifteen seconds here. We'll do the same thing on the other side. In five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Again, I'm gonna rock out that wrist. Little tiny circles with it. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So we'll reset, left hand down. Right arm's gonna go out, left leg goes back. Bend through the elbow and through the knee and then lengthen back out. So trying to make that 90 degree bend through your elbow and through that knee. Through the knee, it's a little bit more difficult because we don't have the external rotation at the hip here. So it's tough to externally rotate that left hip because your other hip is square. So it's okay if it's a tiny movement, totally fine. Fifteen seconds here. We'll bring it down. We're gonna grab onto one of those weights in five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Roll out those wrists. I'm getting a little bit sweaty. Wearing a long sleeve shirt was probably not my best idea. We're gonna grab onto one of our weights here. We're gonna go back into that tabletop position, this time using one of the weights. So right hand's gonna stay down on the mat. We'll grab onto the weight in the left hand and we're gonna donkey kick through the leg and bicep curl through the arm. So here we go. We're gonna bend the knee, bend the knee and the elbow at the same time as you press the heel up. Actually, as you press the heel up, we'll curl through the elbow. As you lower, we'll bring the knee down. Okay. Let's cut that <laughs> and we'll start again. Okay, so for this donkey kick, your weight's in the left hand. You're gonna bend, you're gonna press your left foot up as you curl in through the elbow and then release the curl as you bring the knee back down. A little bit of complicated coordinated movement. Basically, we just take that bicep curl as you press the heel up in that donkey kick. If you need to come down at any time and take a second to reset that tabletop, I know we've been on the wrist a whole lot here. Feel free to take a second. We're only gonna be here for 15 more seconds, so try and get in as many reps here, just like one small, really good, one slow, really good one. We'll bring it down into a forearm plank in five, four, three, two, and one. So we'll bring that weight down. And I want you to move the weight over to the right side of your mat. Forearms are gonna come down to the mat and you'll press those feet back so we come into a forearm plank, plank. <laughs> Shoulders over the elbows, tailbone, is tucked in and under. You're pulling up through the abdominals, flexing through the heels. And then sending energy out through the crown of the head and through the heels. So sending energy forward, sending energy back. So long line. I feel like I'm saying energy so much. Long line of energy from the crown of the head out to the heels. If you wanna drop down to those knees at any time, feel free to do so. Take your plank from there. We're gonna be here for about 15 more seconds. And then left forearm is gonna to come to the center of the mat. We'll open up towards the right for our side forearm plank. In five, four, three, two, and one. Left forearm comes to the center. If you can rock right into that side plank, you get right into it. I'm gonna give you a couple of options here. So to press up into that side plank, you can stack the feet. So right foot on top of left. You can stagger the feet, left foot in front, or right foot in front of left, or you can come down to the knees, just stack those knees right on top of each other. So once you get into that side plank, you figure out where you're gonna be comfortable. I want you to grab onto the weight. We're gonna lift the weight up, bend the elbow, bring it down. Lift it up, bend the elbow, bring it down. 
If the weight is too much, you'll do the same thing without the weight. So we get a little bit of rotation in the core as you start to bring the weight down towards the mat. We're gonna bring it down in five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. We're gonna do the same thing now over on the other side. So we'll start with that table top bicep curl donkey kick. So this time, left hand stays down, right hand has the weight. We're gonna donkey kick with that left leg. So bend through the left knee. Doesn't matter, okay, <laughs> left hand down. Okay, so as we lift into that donkey kick, we're gonna bicep curl. As we lower, we lengthen out through the elbow. So you want to keep your foot flexed here as you press up. We're not going to arch through the back. 15 seconds here. And then we'll press into that forearm plank one more time. In five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. We'll shake out those wrists a little bit and then move your weight over to the left side of your mat. If you're still facing the same way, just move it over to the other side. We're going to get into that forearm plank one more time, just setting up through center. Forearms down on that mat, feet pressed back, shoulders over the elbows, tailbone pulled up and under. If you want to drop down to those knees, take your plank from there, feel free to do so. Want your gaze to be kind of pointed down towards the mat. So we're not gonna to start to crane the neck. You'll start to feel a lot of tension in the neck. I always feel it when I turn my head to look at you guys. So I'm gonna try and look down at the mat. 15 seconds and we'll come into that side plank. Right forearm's gonna to come to the center of that mat. We'll open up towards the left. Five, four, three, two, and one. So I'm gonna bring my knees down because frankly, <laughs> That's just where I'm at. But we want to swivel over to open up towards the left. So this time right forearm stays down on that mat. And we'll come into that side plank the same way we did on the other side. So if you want to press up and you want to stack your feet, left foot on top of right, if you want to bring your left foot in front of the right or come down onto both knees, you'll just stack the knees right on top of each other wherever you want to take that side plank. So for me, I like to stagger my feet and then grab onto that weight we're gonna press up and then bend through the elbow, bring that weight back down, a little rotation through that top shoulder down towards the mat. Perfect. 15 seconds here, we'll bring it all the way down. We'll take a big stretch. In five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, so you can put that weight down, drop it down, we'll take a little stretch. I want you to come to your mat, feet come down, hands can come behind you. I just want you to windshield wiper through the knees a little bit, so you get some rotation through that core. Stretch out the front of your body, let that belly go. Okay, okay, from here, grab onto your other weight. We're gonna come all the way down to the mat and do some glute bridges. So weights are just gonna be on either side of you. You're gonna lay all the way down onto that mat. Head comes down, feet are about hips distance apart. And then bring your weights into your hands. From here, we're gonna do a glute bridge chest press combo. So as, <laughs> as you press the hips up, you're gonna extend the arms over your chest. As you pull the hips down, you're gonna pull the elbows out towards the sides of your body. So we press up, extend at the hip, extend through the elbows, bring it down, bend through the elbows, bend at the hip. You can take this nice and slow. If you're comfortable and you wanna pick up that pace, go for it. As you press those weights up over your chest, you want wrist, elbow, and shoulder to be in line. We're gonna be here for 15 more seconds, then we'll hold up at the top in this bridge, and we're gonna do 
a skull crusher, just a triceps press. So we'll hold it up, bring those weights together in three, two, and one. Press it up in that bridge. Weights are gonna come together. So turn the palms in. And then from here, we're gonna shift the weights back a little bit and then start to bend through the elbows and extend through the elbows. So we hold up in that bridge. You just pull the weights down towards your forehead and then press them right back up. If you feel any tension building in that low back, I want you to drop your hips just a couple of inches and hold it there. If this is too much to hold up in the bridge like this, bring your hips down and then just take this little skull crusher from there. So however you wanna do it today. Okay, 15 seconds left here. We're gonna bring the hips down, bring the weights down to the ground. We're gonna keep going with a little bit of glute bridge work in five, four, three, two, and one. We'll bring it down. Just rest those weights down to your sides. From here, we're gonna press back up into that bridge and we're gonna do a little bicycle through the right leg. So what I want you to do here, we'll um, breathe the right leg up. You're gonna lower it down so it comes in line with your other knee, bend it in, pick it up. So you lower it down straight and then bend through the knee, pick it up. Just like you're riding a bike here. The challenge is to stay stable through that left leg. So press down through the left heel, squeeze through that left glute. And if you need to lower your hips a couple of inches to stabilize, that's fine. 15 more seconds left here. All we're gonna do is switch over to the other side. In five, four, three, two, and one. We bring it down. Shake out those legs, maybe windshield wiper the knees, and then we'll reset. Big exhale, press up into that glute bridge. Now we'll shift weight into that right heel. Inhale, bring that left leg up, lower it down, and then bend through the knee. So kick up, lower down at 45, bend through that knee. Second side is always a little bit more difficult because you're a little bit fatigued. So again, if you need to lower those hips a couple of inches, that's fine, do that. I feel my right side is getting a little bit lazy and that's okay. If you're there, that's totally fine. 15 seconds here, we'll lower all the way down. Take a big hug on those knees. We're gonna do a little bit of core work with those weights in five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, okay. Windshield wiper through those knees. Drop those knees to one side and to the other. Okay. From here, we're gonna stay laying down on the mat. I want you to grab onto just one of the weights. We're gonna start in a V crunch. So we've done a V crunch pretty recently. Bring those legs up, open your legs so they come into a V, only a little bit wider than the hips. Hands are clasped together around that weight. Big exhale, you're gonna crunch up. Inhale, pull it down. So on that exhale, you're pushing the weight through your legs. Keeping a little tuck through the chin so you're keeping the back of the neck long. Imagine you're holding a grapefruit between your chin and your chest. We'll be here for just 15 more seconds. And then we'll bring it down. We'll move it to an oblique crunch. So feet will come down in five, four, three, two, and one. We'll bring those feet down to the mat. Hands can stay clasped together around that weight. Feet are down on the mat. On your exhale, you're gonna crunch over to the outside of the right knee. So exhale, reach it over. Inhale, pull it back down. Both shoulders come down to that mat. A tiny movement here and we've done this before with the legs up in that reverse tabletop position so if you want to pull the knees over the hips bring the shins parallel to the ceiling you can do this crunch from there as well we'll be here for just 15 seconds and then we're going to move it over to the other side almost there just five four three two 
and one. So start back around through center, maybe reset those feet. Now we're gonna crunch to the outside of the left leg. So big exhale, crunch it over, both shoulders come off of that mat. Inhale, bring it back down, weight stops right over that chest. Again, if you wanna bring those legs into that reverse tabletop, knees over hips, shins parallel to the ceiling. It's a little more work in the core and those lower abs to stabilize. Perfect, 15 seconds here. We're gonna bring it down, we'll drop that weight down. Keep moving with these crunches in five, four, three two and one bring it all the way down we'll drop that weight down to the side from here you want you to lengthen out through that right leg and through your left no left hand's gonna come behind the head sorry <laughs> we're gonna bend uh, knee into elbow so right knee left elbow then you're gonna lengthen it out lengthen out through that left arm and touch your toes so it might not be a huge movement and that's okay it's just gonna be knee to elbow and then hand to toe If you want to bring that right arm out to your side, that works. So knee to elbow, lengthen out, toe touch. Perfect, 15 seconds here. We'll move it over to the other side. Just five, four, three, two, and one, bring that right foot down, lengthen out through the left leg. We'll switch it right over. So starting with knee to elbow, you can bring that left hand out to the side, probably about a 45 degree angle. So knee to elbow, lengthen out, touch the toe. Knee to elbow, touch the toe. So with the left arm out to the side, you can roll onto that shoulder a little bit. As you press up, not like rolling through your whole body, but just shifting a little bit of pressure over to that shoulder so that you can lift a little bit higher through the right side. 15 seconds here, we're gonna grab back onto that weight. We're gonna do a double leg stretch. Whoops, I forgot to bend through the knee. In five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Windshield wiper through those knees really quick. Just to get a little tension out of that low back. We're gonna grab back onto the weight. It's gonna be fun. So hands can come to the ends of the weight. You're gonna bend the knees so knees come over the hips. On your inhale, you are going to lengthen out through the legs and extend the arms overhead. Big exhale, you're gonna crunch up into a ball. So inhale, we lengthen out. Big exhale, we crunch it in. We're not gonna be here for super long, so don't worry. You can hear my labored breathing. Chin stays lifted away from the chest. I know it's hard, 15 seconds. If you wanna bring your head down, you can keep your head down on the mat and do this right from there. We'll bring it down, stretch it out in five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it in, oh my gosh, okay. Weight comes down beside you. You can grab onto the backs of the legs, just pull those legs towards you a little bit, maybe grab onto the calves. We're gonna rock it up. We're gonna do a little bit of upper body work. So rock and roll, come on up. We're gonna do some upper body work, like I just said. So come around on your mat. You're gonna sit your hips to your heels and then grab onto both of those weights. So one weight in each hand. And you can walk your knees out just a little bit so you're about hips distance apart. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we're gonna do a little serve the tray with a low body lift. So as you lift through the arms, you'll lift through the legs arms come up at shoulder height and then inhale lower down sit the hips back to the heels elbow stops in line with the sides of the body 
if the lift through the low body is too much, if it doesn't feel good, take it out. Just hang out, sit hips to heels, lift and lower through those arms. And if sitting hips to heels doesn't work for you, you have another option. You can sit cross-legged. You can do everything we're doing right from there. Just sit crisscross. <sighs> Adding in that lift and lower of the low body kind of challenges your stability a little bit. So your core has to stay engaged. Your low body has to stay engaged as well. So you'll feel a little bit of work through the quads as you start to lift. And then lots of work through that core to make sure you don't topple back as you lower down. Okay, 15 seconds left here. We're gonna sit the hips back to the heels. So we're gonna do a tricep kickback in five, four, three, two, and one. So sit those hips to the heels. I'm gonna turn to the side so you guys can see me. So you can sit back, hips to heels, and then take a little hinge forward from the hips, flat back, elbows tuck into the sides of the body. We're gonna extend through the elbows and then bend through the elbows. So just press the weights back, pull them forward. If you want a little bit more, you can hover the hips away from the heels. Keep those elbows tucked into the side of your body, and then just take your tricep kick back from there. If you want a little bit more, you can add in a lift and lower. So you press back as you're lifted, sit the hips back as you bend through the elbows. So press up, extend, lean back, pull those weights back in. Fifteen seconds left here. We're gonna do a little overhead press. Turn back to the front in five, four, three, two, and one. So I'm gonna flip back around so y'all can see me. We're just gonna do an overhead press. So weights can come down to the shoulders, elbows down beneath the shoulders. We'll do the same thing we did with that serve the tray. So you'll press up to the knees, press the weights up overhead, bend through those elbows, lower back down, hips to heels. So really engage through the core, pull that belly button up and in. And as you lift and lower, your shoulders stay over the hips. Head stays over the heart, obviously. I say that all the time in yoga. <laughs> shoulders over the hips, head over the heart. Press it up again. If lifting through that low body is too much, hang out in that low kneeling position. Just press up through the arms. Only 15 seconds here. We're gonna bring it down. We're almost there. We're gonna do a little bit of low body work. Coming back into that tabletop we all know and love in just five, four, three, two, and one. Bring those weights down. You can put the weights down to the mat right next to you. <sighs> okay, so we're coming back into our tabletop position to do the rest of our low body work today. If at any time your wrists start to buggy, you can come down to the forearms, do everything we're doing from there. I'm just gonna give you permission to do that. You can also make a fist with your hand, come to the top of your fist, so you stop flexing through the wrist. That can sometimes alleviate a lot of tension there. So just telling you ahead of time, but once you're ready, we're gonna come into that tabletop position, shoulders over the wrist, hips over the knees, and we are just going to start with a little rainbow. So we'll kick that right leg back, point through the toes. You're gonna bring the right foot over towards the left corner of the mat, Rainbow it over so your foot comes back in line with the hip. So just a little arc through the foot. A lot of times with a rainbow, you start to feel your weight shifting over into the side that, into, in this case, it would be shifting over into the left side. So you wanna make sure that left hip stays stable right over the knee. We'll be here for about 15 more seconds. And then we're just gonna do a leg lift, adding in a hamstring curl. So we'll go there, we'll lengthen that right leg back in five, four, three, two, and one. So right leg kicks back. All we're gonna do here, we'll lift the right leg up at hip height. Once you're there, you'll flex the foot, bend through the knee, pull the, uh, pull the heel in towards the butt, lengthen back out, point those toes lower. So lift, flex the foot, bend the knee, point it back, Lower it down. So lift, flex, bend, point lower. It's okay if this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. 
That's fine. Just stick with what makes sense to you. Okay. Fifteen seconds left here. We're going to draw little tiny circles with that right leg. Just five, four, three, two, and one. So you can bring it down, reset, take a second to shake out through those wrists. All we're going to do is draw tiny circles with the right leg. So once you're ready, you'll come back into that tabletop. I'm going to make fists with my hands. Come on to those fists. See if that works a little bit for me. Left knee stays back, right leg goes back. You'll lift it up at hip height. We're going to draw little circles. So again, staying stable in that left side. If you start to feel you're shifting around from side to side, that's okay, it's not a big deal. Just take a second, reset, make sure you're staying really strong through the core, nice neutral spine. We're gonna reverse that direction in three, two, and one, just reverse it the other way. I'm gonna try your best to keep that right leg up at hip height. It's okay, if it comes below that, it's not a big deal. Just try your best to keep it at hip height without getting that big curve through your low back. 10 more seconds here, we're gonna bring it down. We're gonna do everything we just did now on the other side in five, four, three, two, and one. We'll bring it down. Woo! Okay, shake it out. We're gonna move over to the other side, starting with that rainbow. So set up in your tabletop position. I'm just flipping around so y'all can see me. We'll extend back through that left leg, point through the toes. You're gonna draw that little rainbow, bring the left toes to the outside of that right corner. So maintaining a neutral spine here. And you might notice as you start to move, you get a little dip in that low back. If you start to get, not lazy, but if your glutes start to not work anymore, you're gonna start to feel like you're dipping into that right side. So you'll notice right away. And that's something easy to adjust. 15 seconds here. We'll go into our leg lift with that little hamstring curl. Walk it through in five, four, three, two, and one. Lengthen back through that left leg. We're gonna lift the left leg up at hip height, flex the heel, bend through the knee, draw the heel in towards the butt, lengthen back out, point those toes to lower. Take it nice and slow. I start to feel myself kind of shifting over into that right side. So as always, if you need to take a second to reset that tabletop, reset shoulders should be hanging out right over the wrists. I always notice I get thrown off in that right side, 15 seconds here. We'll reset, draw those little circles with the left leg. And five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. I'm gonna roll out through my wrists. We'll do that final little push, little circles through that left leg. So reset, I'm coming on to my fists here. We'll press back through the left leg, point through the toes, just draw those little tiny circles. Really tiny, because you don't want to start to open up through the hip. So if you start to notice that left hip is really lifting and you're starting to press your right hip open, drop it down, point both hips down towards the mat. We're gonna reverse the direction in five, four, three, two, and one other way. Fifteen seconds here. We'll bring everything down. We'll take a little stretch before we get into that final push. Just five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. 
Okay, we'll roll out those wrists just a little bit. And for our final push here, we're just gonna wrap up in a forearm plank. I say just a forearm plank, you know, it's not just gonna be a forearm plank. So we'll come down, forearms down to that mat, shoulders over those elbows, press back, flex through the feet. We're gonna hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Then we're gonna start to lift through that right leg, flex the foot, just lift, lower, lift, lower for five, four, three, two, and one, switch it over to the left, flex through the left foot, just lift, lower, squeeze that right glute, lift, lower, perfect, five, four, three, two, and one, perfect, drop those knees down, we'll open the knees up, press back into a child's pose, let that head press down towards the mat. Press the hips back. Okay, and then we'll come all the way up. We'll take our final little stretches so you can find a cross-legged position on your mat. Turn towards me. We're gonna do a side body stretch. So right hand comes down to the mat, left arm reaches up. Press over, get a big stretch through the left side of the body. Inhale, bring it back up through center. Left hand comes down to the mat, right arm reaches up. Reach it over, big stretch to the side of your body. And then bring it right back around. Draw big circles with those shoulders, pull the shoulders back. And then pull them forward. Then I want you to bring your hands up towards your chest. We're just gonna draw circles with the wrist. I knew we were on the wrists a lot today. So if you feel tension in the wrists, that's normal. I do too. Reverse that direction. Okay. And that's going to conclude your Pilates workout for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment down below if you finished this whole workout. And remember to enter into that giveaway. Google form is down in the description. <sighs> Remember, you're awesome, you can do anything that you put your mind to, and I'll see you guys in our next video on Wednesday.